Good afternoon, fellow viewers. Welcome back to Easy Mathematics. Uh, today, we are apologizing for the delays in uploading last week's video. Today being Monday, we want to look at what we were supposed to do on last week, Friday. And today, what we want to look at, as we started, we are looking at capacity, mass, time, and money. So today, we want to look at addition and subtraction of mass addition and subtraction of mass now when we say mass what is mass mass of a container of a substance simply means the weight of the substance or the container that is the meaning of mass good now in mass the metric unit for mass or of mass is kilograms for huge weights, then grams for small weights. So what do you want to do? You want to look at the addition and subtraction of masses. Now, if you are adding masses or you are subtracting, we group the kilograms under kilograms. Because we are saying that mass is having a metric unit of kg as kilograms for huge weight. Then g, that is grams, for small weight. So how do we add? If you are adding, we group the kilograms under kilograms. So let's say we have the first one. We say that add 8 kilograms. 500 grams to 2 kilograms, 300 grams. If you are adding, we perform the kilograms under kilograms, then grams under grams. So this will give me kilograms, kilograms. What is the kilogram here? 8. What is the gram here? 500 grams. And when you come here, it is 2 kilograms and the gram is 300 grams. Now what do I have to do? I am adding. So we bring the sign to show that it is addition. You add 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 0 will also give us 0. 5 plus 3 is 8. And 8 plus 2 is 10. So when it comes to masses, just like the capacity, we do the normal addition and subtraction. And the normal addition and subtraction, we have been taught in our primary level. So you just do the addition, the normal one, of course. Now, when it comes to mass, 1 kilogram is equivalent or equal to 1,000 grams. One kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. So we are looking at addition of masses. Now let's say I have a kg has been given, 200, 580, then three, I have 470 grams. What am I doing? I am adding. So if you are adding, you arrange the grams under grams, just as I did here. Kilograms under kilograms. So 8 plus 0 will give me 0. 0 plus 0 will give me 0, sorry. Then 8 plus 7 will give us 15. So 15, can I write all the 15? No. I'll therefore write 5. Remember 1. Then I'll add 5 plus 4 will give me 9 plus my remainder will be 10. Also, I can record or I'll bring my remainder, which will give me 6. So when it comes to the addition of uh, masses, it is the normal addition that we all know right from kindergarten. So let's say we have 2 plus we are adding 
So 0 plus 0 is 0. This is 0. 5 plus 8 will give us 13. So we write 3, remainder 1. And this will give us 6. So the final answer is 6 kilograms, 300 grams for the addition of masses. So when it comes to the addition, we do the normal addition and subtraction. Now let's look at the subtraction. The normal addition and subtraction that we know. If it is not possible, we go. So let's say we have for subtraction. We have, let's say, number one. Find the difference between 200 kg 500 grams and 1 kg 320 grams. If you are dealing with masses, arrange kilograms under kilograms, grams under grams. So I have my kilograms under grams. The first mass, I have 2 kilograms. 500 grams. So this will give me 2 kilograms, 500 grams. Then we come here, 1 kilograms, 320 grams. So under the kilograms will give me 1, and the grams I have 320. What am I doing? I am subtracting. We have to always bring the sign to show that we are truly subtracting. What do we do? You do your subtraction. Zero minus zero. Will this be possible? No. So zero minus zero will give me zero. Sorry? Then when you come to the next one, zero minus two, will it be possible? Okay. Sorry for that. So we are looking at the subtraction of masses. So zero minus zero is zero. 0 minus 2 won't be possible. So you have to borrow from your neighbor. Now, if I borrow 1 from the 5, I'll be having 4 left. Then the 1 here will give me 10. The normal subtraction. So 10 minus 2 will give us 8. Now, I have 4 left, not 5, because I've taken 1 out of it. So... 4 minus 3 will now give me 1. Then 2 minus 1 will give me 1. So when it comes to the subtraction of uh, kilo uh, masses, the normal subtraction. But what differentiates between the first one and that the normal one and this one is that we are dealing with mass. And the metric unit for mass is kilograms for huge values and grams for small values. Now let's look at the example two. We have been given a kg of, let's say nine, then 204 grams. We have two here, then 820 grams. We have to subtract. The normal subtraction. If it is not possible, you go with. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 8 is not possible. You have 2 and you have to take 8 out. How can this be? So what do I have to do? I have to go and borrow from the kilograms. So if I borrow 1 from the kilograms, I'm having 8. So if that 8 comes here, it is going to give me 12. So what do I do? 12 minus 8 will give us what? 4. The normal subtraction that we all know. So now what do I have to do next? What I'm to do is Come to the kilograms, then ask yourself, what is 8 
minus 2. Why 8? 8 because I have taken 1 from the 9. So 8 minus 2 gives me 6 as my answer. So this minus this is going to give us 6 kilograms, 420 grams for the subtraction. Let's take the last example. Let's say we have, we have been given to, let's say, find the value of 6 kilograms, 570 grams. Then, let's say we have 980 grams. We have to subtract. Now, when you look at the kilograms here, we have no kilogram for this gram. What does it mean? It means the value here has no kilograms. So, it is 980 grams. Good. I am subtracting. So, I will do my normal subtraction. 0 minus 0 will give me 0. 7 minus 8 is not possible. So we borrow from 5 and this gives us 17. Now 17 minus 8 is going to give us 9. If you have 17 and you take 8 out of 17, you are going to have 9 as your remainder. Now, I'm left with 4 here because I have borrowed 1. So 4 minus 9 is still not possible. What do you do? You borrow again. So 4 minus 9. Since it is not possible, I will borrow from the 6. And this will be 5. And this will be 14. 14 minus 9. You have 14. You have to take 9 out of it. You will be left with 5. Or you have five left with you. Now with the kilograms, I'm left with five because I have already borrowed one out of it. So five minus zero will still give me five. And this is the way we do or we perform the addition and subtraction of masses. So if you are doing the addition and subtraction, we are saying that you, per, you just arrange the kilograms under kilograms, then grams under grams. The kilogram here is 8. So we see that we've arranged the kilograms under the kilograms and the grams under the grams. Then you perform your normal addition and subtraction. When it comes to the subtraction, you also do the same thing. But what would differentiate between the addition is by we indicating that we are doing subtraction. And if you do that, you will have no problem with any teacher. You get everything correct. Now let's go to this side. We have assignment. Today is our first time we having assignment. Viewers, after understanding or going through this and we understanding that masses in terms of addition and subtraction is the normal way of addition just arrange kilograms and kilograms grams and grams let's try our hands on this assignment you can provide your answers through commenting or you solve them and you take a picture of it and send it for assessment so you have to simplify number one the sum of eight kilograms 500 grams 2 kilograms, 640 grams. Let's try our hands on it. We can also be asked to find the total sum in a word problem form. But this is what we are looking at. So let's try the assignment on this one. Find the difference of 2 kilograms, 650 grams, and 1 kilograms, 200 grams. Let's try this assignment and submit them for assessment. Cherish viewers, this is where by the grace of God we will end today's lesson. Don't forget that God is our proud sponsor. 
is by the grace of God that we always bring to you topics and the mathematics. Please don't forget to hit the subscription button for more and more educative topics in mathematics. This is Mathematics and thank you for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also sponsor this program by hitting on the subscription button or commenting or calling the numbers on the screen of the previous videos. God bless you for staying tuned. See you this week, that is Friday, for the next subject. Sorry, the next topic, where is addition and subtraction of time. God bless you. See you for my coming Friday. Thank you. Bye-bye.